Hello everyone, today we are going to make an automatic icon creating system. It works like this, I start the game, wait a bit, and it's there. First of all, you have to create a new level. I will call it icons 2, as I already have an icons. We will need to create two materials for this and uh, one render target. Will be pretty simple. Let's start with the materials. This will be the background. So it will be easier to cut out the image. You just have to press uh, one, uh, hold one, and click. With the value zero. You need to connect to metallic and specular. And uh, same with the value 1, you have to connect to roughness. And uh, hold 3 and click. You can make this. And uh, let's use a purplish color because uh, not too many stuff have that, so it will be easy to cut out. You don't have to do this uh, 0 and 1 here, because if I know it right, if you set this to unlit, it will have the same result. So it uh, won't have a glare in the finished image. So the background won't affect the uh, item you put in front of it. Create the next material. Uh, oops, uh, first, we, first we need the under target. So go to textures, render target, and call it uh, RT icon, for example. I will show you what to set up here. I like to use a uh, 512, a size, put X and Y. And uh, you need to set the render target format to RGBA8. Uh, this way you can... Uh, export it as a, a PNG file or it makes stuff easier uh, back to the material the preview material here you need to create a texture sample oh did I copy? Oh. Uh, anyways uh, you need to select the new render target that we created and uh, I think it will set the sampler type automatically to linear color uh, so we have the render target the background material the preview material let's make something out of it uh, let's place the background that will be a plane move it to zero press F so you can Go there. Let's create a light. Ah. A directional light. Set to zero. Set rotation to zero too. It uh, looks that direction, so we will move this here. And rotate. Nice and flat. It will be a good background for us. Let's take this material. And put it here. So now we need to make the actual camera. That is this for me. Just a back in play event, a delay for one second so the uh, lights can render properly. Lumen can do its job. Uh, oops, I don't need this. Uh, then you need to export render target. Mm -hmm. This. Uh, here you need to select the uh, render target we just created. Here select the file path. You can see mine. And uh, you can select a file name. You need to put uh, that PNG at the end or that uh, JPEG or something, whatever you want. 
So it will use the correct format you need. Then I just like to print out exported. Another second delay so it can do its job. Uh, maybe actually half a second is enough. Let's check this out. Oops, uh, I haven't created the actual <laughs> camera yet. Okay, anyways, uh, after a little delay, you just quit the game. So you don't even have to stop it yourself. It's fully automated for you. Mm. Also in this camera, you have to create two things. One is a plane, so go to components, add plane. Here you only have to do uh, setting up the preview material we just created. This will show you what the actual images you are looking at. Uh, let me quickly place a camera. Show you this. Move to zero. Here you can already see the image. And uh, here is the plane. Uh, let's place a cube. Move to zero. Move a bit. Uh, change the mesh to a chair, for example, that I used in the demonstration. This is showing you the example. The camera itself is also not a big deal. You just need to create a scene capture component. This 2D. And uh, copy these uh, settings from here. Uh, field of view, 50 worked for me just well. Uh, texture target, you need to select the RT icon or whatever you created your render target is. Uh, so it will actually write on that image. And uh, this will show you that image. Uh, you need to set the primitive render mode to this one. So not the legacy, this. Uh, capture source is final color in RGB. Uh, capture movement is not needed, but you don't need to switch it off. That's it. Yeah. Now everything should work like this. Oops. Uh, if you set the game mode to game mode, so the default one, <laughs> you won't even start to fall. That's useful. Let me delete this one. Click play. I am not doing anything. And it created the image. Let's do it again. Let's do it. And it's done. Uh, you can also use colors on the... Uh, oops. You can use it with colors, obviously. And it changes. Now we just need to create an actual uh, icon from it. So let's move to Krita. Krita had loaded up for me and I imported the image. Just a quick thing before we do anything. Uh, I set this name so I can just go to the right and uh, name it to here in this case. And you can already create the new image. And it will appear as a new one. Here in Krita, the only thing you have to do, uh, find the mouse first. <laughs> Select these uh, magic wand thing. Select all the purple or pink uh, pixels on the screen. And delete. Oops. <laughs> Done. If the colors are bleeding, like uh, this case a bit, then uh, you can also do a little trick. Just move this around. Create a new image. Move this back. Oops. <laughs> oh. 
So we have these two images now. Uh, let's open this one with Krita. Here you can select all the uh, purple pixels. So you can delete it, but uh, now we import this new one. Select this new mesh. And using the uh, previous selection, we just delete. And it already looks a lot better. No uh, purple bleeding in the background. Obviously, if the chair wouldn't have this many uh, black pieces, then you could just use the default black background. And uh, if you need any more lighting for this, then you can just add whatever light you need. This will show on the image. Uh, this also works with uh, orthographic uh, projection type too. But uh, in this case the lights are not working, so you need to make the material you are using on the chair in this case. Uh, emissive. So take the base color. Put it in the emissive. It will shine by itself. Uh, obviously, it doesn't give as much detail, but uh, it's easy to do at least. <laughs> so, this is how you can set up your own little icon creating studio. I hope it was helpful for you. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you want to see anything else in the future, then uh, please tell it in the comments. Have a good day. Bye.